History. We are told not to repeat it. But what if we learn from it? first drive of the game, Vince Parisi passes to number two, Thomas Pack, who takes us to the red zone, allowing Brian Battee to put the first score on the board. We fight the power, powers it be, come rule the world with me, it's time I fade, victory, so come rule the world with me, we can rule the world. As the Sailors' defense continues to heat up, Jason Scott intercepts a terrier pass for an early game turnover. We can rule the world. Batty wastes no time running up the sideline and getting the Sailors into the red zone. On his next carry, he punches through the middle for another six points. Taking control of the ball, Parisi passes to Keandre Collins for a Sailors first down. Continuing the drive, Thomas Pack makes a catch to take the Sailors to first and goal. Then with a flashy spin move to break the tackle, the T runs the ball into the end zone for a third Sailor touchdown. For another two-point conversion, Tyler Hill connects with Augie Drews to put the Sailors up 23-0. Sailors defense continues to shine as Terrell Pack pulls in another interception, running it all the way for a pick six. Here comes a noise, he'll turn it loud. Rule the world and shake the ground. Putting a stop to Titus Fell's push, Jason Scott down. breaks up the pass, Keep giving the down. Sailors the ball once again. Here comes Parisi takes advantage of another down. defensive stop and Rule targets Augie Drews for the, the fifth ground. touchdown of the night. We got the Stripping the ball in the end zone allows Blaze Freeman to run it in for a defensive touchdown. We fight the power. Turning over on downs, the Terriers give the ball back to the Sailors, allowing Batty to shoot across the line for another six points. Storming forward with an unstoppable power, Dominic Bennett intercepts another Terrier ball. Junior Tyler Hill steps in as quarterback and hands the ball off to Thomas Pack for another crushing touchdown. We can rule the world. Going into halftime, not only is this the first game in 14 years that could put the Sailors at 4-0, but this is the highest scoring game Sarasota has had in over 15 years, and the game isn't over. The Sailors know what it's like to be on the other side of the scoreboard. They were the team that other schools wanted to play for homecoming week, just so that they had the guaranteed win. They were the team who took the weekly beating, but not anymore. Tonight, the people were in the crowd to watch them, other teams there to study them, to see if the hype was real. As the sailors ran back out onto the field, the smell of victory mixed with the halftime air. The boys knew this was their first step but there are many more to come. The sailors come out from halftime to 
prove that the second half would be no different than the first. Terriers start with the ball, but momentum quickly shifts to the Sarasota side. Blaze Freeman picks up another ball, taking it all the way to the house. Matthew's consistent kicking sends the Sailor score to 65-0. Not creating any movement, the Terriers turn the ball over on downs, and once again the ball is in the Sailor's hands. Quarterback Tyler Hill hands off to Keandre Collins, who barrels up the right side for the final Sailor touchdown of the night, bringing the score to 72-0 over the Titusville Terriers. In just a few moments, not only will the Sailors be 4-0 for the first time since 2006, but with a successful three-point field goal by Malachi Matthews, the Sailors enter Sarasota High history books for winning 75-0. A lot of history was made on Friday the 13th, and there is still plenty more to be written. This battle was won, but the season is still far from over. This week, the Sailors will take on their toughest test of the season thus far, the Port Charlotte Pirates. Alumni, students, teachers, friends, and family, your 2019 Sailors need you cheering them on. Come out and be a part of what you've built. They play for all of us, one battle at a time, no mercy, no stopping, until victory is ours.